we're looking at some plans we have for the engineering fountain. Yeah, with that light. It's like, yeah, it's all student run. We're the guys who do it. Have you ever seen a guy climbing around on top of that sucker with a gas mask? That's me. It is water, yes, but you got to clean that. you got to clean that whole thing, and the only way to clean such a monster is with 12 molar hydrochloric acid. And this is water down acid. That'll melt your shoes off. Actually, it'll eat your face off, which is why I'm wearing the gas mask. Uh, yeah, I mean, the meeting's going to start pretty soon, and we could probably head over there, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm Dustin Pasifero. I'm the Grand Puba, Lord High Auditor of all things watery. <laughs> <laughs> That's my official title, and I do most of the mechanical work on the fountain here in front of Engineering Hall. The group is officially called Enlight, and we, we maintain the whole thing. It's entirely student run. The people who magically turn it on and off in um, in the fall and in the spring, that's us. It's Sam, right? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> it was all me. I really like doing this kind of stuff. It feels great to get your hands dirty with something. Yes, it's dangerous. You just be like, yeah. oh man, I'm so cool. Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> when you do something stupid, it's your own darn fault. This is what they. That was what most of them did. When hot, when cold water falls on hot glass, it explodes fantastically. Those big, thick pieces of glass all shattered into itty bitty little pieces like this. <laughs> As I learned in a very embarrassing story. <laughs> I can't believe it. What'd you do? I broke them. <laughs> I broke them good. Oh, Finally tripped. What the heck? The fountain requires a lot of maintenance, a lot of tender love and care. So it requires. It really does require uh, a dedicated and passionate team of. Uh, of geeks, nerds, and engineers uh, to be working on it um, and making sure that it receives all the attention that it needs in order to stay up and running. We sense when things are wrong. If it's something uh, that we can manage, um, then we go ahead and we fix it right off the bat and the university doesn't even know about it. It's the most exciting part of the whole night. Um, just kind of come on over, have a good time, talk nerdy, um, and work on a, on a really fun toy. Yeah, I also get real world experience from this stuff too. Um, which, as someone who lives an entirely virtual life, I'm very thankful. I'm not sure how many people actually know this, but inside Engineering Hall, there's a way that you can actually control the fountain. There's a touch screen um, on a little kiosk, and you go up to it, and it has a picture of the fountain, and you just touch some of the valves, and you can see the water turning on and off. And there's a secret to it. Um, if you get the right combination or find just the right button, um, you'll actually get the big jet that shoots straight up uh, to fire, and it looks really cool. It's very satisfying. Don't worry about it. No big. It's fine. <laughs>